<laughs> Don't get it twisted, fam. Do not get it twisted. I've had more success in three years in Africa than what? I had in my whole career in England. You wanna come up? Oh my If you all can remember, two years ago I interviewed a woman in the Gambia and the video actually went viral. And she just said one thing England is a dump. Sorry, I'm not the one who said it, yeah? I think this is the clip. But other than that, England is an absolute dump. It's a dump and London is a dump. You have small pockets of nice areas as you do in every country. But for me, England is a dump. And I'm here to find out, it's been two years. How has life been in the Gambia? What is going on in the Gambia with her life? How is everything with her? Does she still think that England is a dam? Because she was saying that Africa is a paradise, I don't know. Africa is the most beautiful place on the planet. I've been to 27 countries and I have been coming back every single year since 2011 till now. I said, I've got to live here. How can you not, uh, how can you not live in paradise? I mean, when people move from up the West and come to Africa for the first time, they come with dollars, they come with pounds, they come with euros, and they start thinking that Africa is a paradise. But it's been two years. Let's find out if she's still gonna talk the same way that she spoke two years ago. Come with me, it's your... Hey! There's a three cars packed in here. Jeez. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Julia? I am Maya, what's up, Maya? Miss Trudy, right, forgive me. Oh. <laughs> it's too long. Oh, what? No, 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 don't, don't give her a hug. Ah, they waited so long to meet her. It's been too long. Too long, two years. But you've done good though, bro. Come on, give it here, you've done good. Good yeah. to see you. Look where you were when we met. Exactly. Look I mean, where you are now. Where is this? Yeah, we built this. <laughs> you told me that you're building a house. Yeah, we built it's, it. It's done. Yeah. Last time you were living in a rented house. Yes. yes. But this one is your own house. Yeah, we built Jeez. it. Jeez. Which is, I used to go and say that England is a dam after yes. two years. <laughs> oh, you've changed your mind now. What? Come on now, you know England's a dump. Why am I pretending? I've got to tell the truth. I can't lie. You know England's a dump. This is paradise. Look at this. Would I be living like this in England? Would I be my swimming pool in England? Eh? Would I be repping like this in England? Come on now. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I did have a range in England, but that's not the point. <laughs> Would oh, I be repping like this in England? No, I wouldn't. Tell the truth. We'd be in debt in England. Yeah? We wouldn't be living yeah. our life. Listen, by the mind, listen, my energy comes from the sun. Yeah? My water comes from the earth, yeah? My plants and my herbs, yeah? I eat fresh food. You don't see my guava tree. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Will you say Africa is still a paradise? Africa is paradise. There's no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Three years of experience, no doubt. Juliet, I thought by the time I come in here, maybe you would have given up on Africa already because people were telling me that you came with dollars, pounds. That's why you're saying that, oh, England is a dump. Is that what they think? The, the, you didn't go back for the dollars? The go, pounds what everything? for, what for? What are you going back for money when there's money right here? Don't get it twisted, fam. Do not get it twisted. I've had more success in three years in Africa than what? I had in my whole career in England. Listen, this conversation is gonna be deep. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Hey, brother. It's nice welcome, to meet you again, welcome, man. Welcome back, man. Welcome. Thank you. How is it? Good. You've grown, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. No, come on. Let me give you a hug, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Welcome to Black Sea." Thank you for watching Blacksit. Please subscribe to our channel Blacksit. That's your voice, yeah? Is that your voice? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we've come along, Blacksit's come along. Remember when we, we worked all night, yeah? They don't even know the story behind that YouTube page. They don't. <laughs> Good to see you again. Oh, thanks for coming. Thanks but for coming. I told you that I'm going to get to your YouTube channel. Yeah. You, you said, what, what do you want to name your YouTube channel? Blacksit. So right. um, the Black Sit <laughs> YouTube channel is one of the seats that we saw in the Gambia. Yes. And I think I've been meeting a lot of people telling me that they moved to the Gambia 
because of your videos absolutely which is inspirational so i'm so glad i did that um i'm dancho kajabi also known as juliet ryan from black sit black sit is a channel dedicated to your repatriation relocation back to africa and um, that is a journey that i've taken i've been living in africa for three years i'm living in the beautiful beautiful um lovely uh, smiling coast uh smallest country in africa the gambia and this is where i call home when you come here the first thing they said to me is welcome back to your spiritual home wow. that's what they said to me i didn't get that when i went to jamaica i didn't get that when i went to america i didn't get that when i went to europe spain france turkey portugal italy i didn't get that when i went to mauritius i didn't get that when i traveled to cuba i didn't get that in all of the places that i've been i didn't even get that in tunisia morocco i didn't get that uh, when i went to egypt I, but I got that when I came back to the proper motherland, which I call, you know, Black Africa. And this is why, like I said, you have to make this your home. You're not living in England, you're surviving. You're, you're not even thriving. You're just about existing. And, and this is what we're doing. We're working to ourselves to death in England, literally. And the government are now trying to, uh, you know, make it, you work harder for longer till 67, till you can retire. No. So many of my friends have died before they even got to my age because of stress and other illness, not eating good food, not, you know, not breathing good air, not eat, drinking clean water. Th this is the truth. This is the truth. Trinkets and technology don't make a society. People make a society. And in Africa, you have what I call true community, true love, true bonding, true unity. And that's why I'm here. Tell me, tell me, how, how is life in the Gambia? Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. You've been here for how long now? Three years. Three years. Three years. Three wonderful, wonderful years. Wow. You can make a business here. You can make a business here and survive really well on that business. It's not like England where you can't even afford to open a shop, you can't even stock it. Here you can open a business and you can survive. You can build a house, you can buy a piece of land for like two thousand pounds and build your house. Yeah, build your house, put a few, a few thousand aside and build your own home. You've got no mortgage. Get solar, you've got no electric bills. Got your own borehole, you've got your own water. Just go and buy a canister of gas, you're living. Wow. Instead of working, you know, for 65 years to pay off a mortgage, 25 years to pay off a mortgage. Mama Africa is And you still don't own the land. Children. You still don't own the land, the Queen owns the land. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, absolutely I'm wonderful. So proud of you. Yeah, loving it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> You're going nowhere? I'm going nowhere. Well, I'll travel, but I'm coming back. Traveling to where? Yeah. Well, yesterday I was in Senegal. How are you all doing today? Today, we are going to Senegal. Oh, you're um, traveling within Africa? Yes, of course. of course. Africa is, like I said, it's a mansion with many rooms. <laughs> We've got so many Africans in the diaspora who love to hear your voice, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you have something to tell them, what will that be? Um, love Africa, invest in Africa. Um, everything you need is right here. Everybody else is taken out of Africa. We need to put back into Africa. And so we need to become investors in our own future. We need to become investors in our own destiny. And we have to believe in ourselves first and foremost. We have to have race solidarity, race priority. And we certainly need to have dignity and unity. That's what we need moving forward. And we need to plant, <laughs> you know, agriculture is the way forward. We need hmm. to plant. You know, I'm sick of seeing imported rice. I'm sick of seeing imported stuff. We need to manufacture we need to produce and we need to come home we need to come home once we come home with the skills and the abilities we can all work together and make it happen so, so <laughs> what are you doing now in the Gambia then? I am here to show you something very special outside of uh, obviously vlogging and doing black sit mm. Um, we help to people to repatriate. We do. We we almost become like relocation repatriation specialists <laughs> and inward investment specialists. I was a, a, a business um, uh, developer in the UK, so I've really taken that to another level here. Cool. Helping people to establish their businesses, helping people to um, establish their homes, helping people to start their own estates, their own portfolios. Um, in addition to that, doing a lot of charitable work, Ooh. loads and loads of charitable work. Taking my automatic citizenship campaign to another level, oh. brother. You have a Gambian passport now? Uh, <laughs> right. It's coming. <laughs> How soon? Uh, 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 well, the president said it's coming. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure it no, is. No, 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 I, I think we need to let the president know that 
it has to be faster. You know, yes. we need that automatic citizenship. I mean, Ghana is doing it. So let Ghana inspire you all to start giving the diaspora that are returning in here a passport. You know what? Moving to Africa is now a movement. You know that? Yes. You have to say something to me. <laughs> how, how has life been in the Gambias? And this is my beautiful, wonderful, best husband in the whole oh, wide oh. world. Yes, my, <laughs> my aging. It's been good, um, brother. It's been real good. It's a completely different to the West. You know, here I feel more relaxed, I feel more free. You know, you get up, you eat healthy. I start exercising heavily now, so, you know, um, I couldn't ask for anything better than to be here in the Gambia. He's not swimming though. Ah. <laughs> and he's not swimming. He's still not swimming. And he's still not swimming. He's some lessons for next week. So oh, yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't joke with the water, you know. No, I've had like three coaches. Yeah. I still don't know how to swim. No, I'm, I'm with the pools out there. Come on, let's no, go. No, take me around. I really want to move around. Yeah. 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 I, I still have my room in here. Of course. Yeah. Guest house they, they, right they, they promised me a the room, guest, you know. The guest house. <laughs> the guest house is yours. You see it there? Yeah, I swim, I try to be yeah. you, you, you couldn't buy a house in the UK with a swimming pool? Uh, you can, it just costs a hell of a lot of money. And of course, you have to have a heated one because it's so cold. And of course, we're out of the cold. <laughs> no, 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 hot, no heating bills. Listen, people will not believe that you got your own house, even with a pool in Africa. Yeah. Did it cost you that much to own this? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Everything here is cheaper, so... You know, everything in here is more cost effective, so... How is the cost of living in the Gambia then? For, for us, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I think your, 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 your Delassi stretches depending on your lifestyle. Mm. And the lifestyle that I have, I, I think... <laughs> people might think that I'm quite... Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I think I'm quite modest, so I have a <laughs> modest lifestyle. I still go down to the market. Uh -huh. I buy at my local market, you know. And buy from my local gardeners, so I try to keep costs low. But no, you're out there, and what you're doing to inspire us is just totally life changing. Insp mm -hmm. I would say, you know, this is universe changing. Mm. You understand? I'm going more than life changing, I'm going universe changing. And so many people have said to me, even yesterday on the ferry yeah. to Senegal, you know, oh, I watched you with my All these years past, people are still so, talking about it. Even a Ghanaian woman called Ruti, I've got to give her up. She came from, Ga she, she's Ghanaian, born in England, but she came to Gambia and she's opened a chicken farm. Whoa. Yeah, massive. Like, they, they like got 10,000 chickens. I'd love for you to go and see her. You're not just changing lives, inspiring lives, but we're actually living it and doing it. You know, mm -hmm. living it and doing it. And you're showing that it's possible. Not only have you changed the narrative of Africa, but you've changed the narrative of Africans. How are you guys? We're cool on the Gambia Beach here in Burfoot. Yes. Just enjoying it. Oh, thank you so much. And you? Yeah, you take care. I, I follow your stuff on YouTube oh, sometimes. You. I like your positive work in this continent. Oh, thank you so and much. And I like your Afrocentrism too. Oh, thank you so We're much. We're all one people, one What's Africa. One people, one Africa. That's it. Don't let anybody <laughs> discourage you. Thank you so Some much. Some people's here minds are messed up, but don't allow them to discourage you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, you know that you're a superstar now, yeah? <laughs> Do you the super How does it feel living with a superstar? Ah, uh, it's good. But she's very popular. Even me, when I'm going walking around in Santa Gambia, everywhere. Adrian, how is Juliet? I said, she's fine, she's fine. You know, we want to see her. You know, but, yeah. You know, like, you know why she's a superstar? Mm -hmm. Because we set up a channel f from the Gambia. I think we spent a whole night just mm -hmm. to create a channel for her, created her first video. I've made an agreement with Vodemaya that I'm going to create content. Exactly. And I'm going to put content out to promote Africa in a positive light and to show the real Africa. And I want to say thank you so much for accepting this. Um, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and the channel still exists. Blacks it, but I can't comment on the channel anymore. Oh, do you know, we had cyberbullying. I'm going to be honest with you, we had some serious high level cyberbullying. I didn't even know what cyberbullying was. 
In fact, I didn't know what spamming was either, if you remember rightly. I had to call you to ask you what that yeah. was, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what any of this stuff was. Because remember, I was new to YouTube, new to this whole online stuff. I've been, don't get me wrong, I've been on TV and I've been in the media mm. in the UK a lot. But those are on like Sky, BBC, ITV, but not my own sort of channel. So I didn't, I wasn't really that mm. exposed as such to social media. And, and really, I'm still not that really effective in social media. However, um, I realized that there's a lot of also there's a lot of positivity but there's also a lot of negativity and I wasn't prepared for that so I'm like that I, I will personally get involved and take it personally which I probably shouldn't you know but yeah, I did I, and I, so I wanna, that's the reason why I, I had tell to you limit something. it no you have to take it out back again because mm -hmm. it causes engagement yes um, feel free I mean whatever you do people are gonna talk you, know? yeah. you have to get used to it by now you know I have been there I mean, it's been nine years journey on YouTube and I'm already used to these things, you know. So all I'm going to tell you is that before I leave here today or before I upload this video, I want you to bring back the comment section, okay. bring back the subscribers. I mean, we are giving this channel a new phase once again. So you know what you're going to do for me? <laughs> we, we've done it before. I mean, yeah. we've done it before, right? Yeah. We, we've got this channel 10,000 subscribers yes. in a few days, so we can do it again. Do me a favor, the link will be in the description. Go subscribe, support the channel. Mm -hmm. And listen, this channel is my baby. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my own baby. Yes. So, if you've Make seen you the dad in here, please subscribe to the baby. Now. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot of investment going on in the Gambia, right? Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. So much is going on at the moment. Mm. A lot of development, um, and a lot of that is coming from the diaspora. Okay. And I've met them. I've actually met a lot of the diaspora who've now established business, who are building, who are establishing, you know, manufacturing, production, soap factories, um, agro processing. It's all happening. It's all happening. People are coming back and doing major agriculture as well. And they're coming back from the diaspora and they're coming back. And also Gambians are also coming back home who left the Gambia as economic migrants. And so this is like been so refreshing to see. Um, we've engaged with so many different people on so many different levels. We've even met the president, you know, I, I interviewed him <laughs> as well. And um, um, when I went to introduce myself, you guys, I know who you are, I'm a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, what are the opportunities in the Gambia that you think the diaspora and the people of the Gambia can take advantage of? Definitely agriculture. Without doubt, agriculture, this place is so, as you can see in my own gardens, the place is so, so fertile. And it, you know, you're good to grow rice, you're good to grow anything here, really. It's suitable for most um, agricultural products, as long as the weather suits, obviously. Um, I also think that it's right for the development with tourism as well. And that is happening, especially mm. diasporans are now mm. coming and bringing a lot of development within the tourism sector. And of course, there's uh, real estate, because there's a shortage of housing here. Mm -hmm. Um, as you know, there's Taft City, yeah, coming and up. Um, yeah, coming up, and loads of other estates, and um, also all of the new um, prospects that have also been done uh, by Sol Fraser. So there's a lot happening, as well as Uncle Taft and what he's doing. And so I think there's so many prospects, especially for training, education, health centres. Uh, there's a lot of investment in social pro in social projects is needed here. Uh, mm. Clean water, running mm. water for certain villages, mm. electricity, solar power, and um, projects. I mean, just. Uh, the, the opportunities are endless. I don't think all is rosy. I know. don't think anything is rosy anywhere. I'm not a rose. Oh. <laughs> not a rose. Oh, so can you I'm not me, a rose. Can you, can, you, can you tell me major challenge in the Gambia? There's not um, many major challenges, you know. I mean, I could see the use of, um, of an upskilling centre where you know you have a training center if we could bring that in so that we could help um just you know increase coming um increase customer service and mm. different things mm. these are some of the aspects that we want to work on training centers you know like for me myself i was a builder so i would like to come and um give you know just gi give my talent give you know give back to the community help since, upskilling you know since, since you're a builder i guess you build this house then yeah, I was here when it was um, all taking place. I was with it. So most of the different designs and all of that, I, um, I put it into place. Is this house off-grid? Everything is off-grid. You use your own solar? Yes. yes. 
They're, they're, I'm eco crazy. I'm eco crazy. Yeah. So everything has to be totally off grid. You have to the, be self sufficient. The water comes from the borehole. Mm. Everything is there. Then we have the solar. Oh, the, the battery pool. is there. Yeah. So everything here is off grid. I don't even have to ask you if you are living or you're surviving in Africa. I'm thriving, honey. I'm yeah. thriving. <laughs> well, it's, it's been a challenge. With all the attacks online and everything, it's just been a challenge. Yeah. You know, every day. That's why I'm the comments was turned off. Every day people attacking you, attacking you. Who are the people then? They're just anybody calling us names. You know, it don't make sense. Yeah, I mean, there you was know? one person in particular that, you know, yeah. has obviously got a gripe and took mm -hmm. to making nearly 43 videos, uh, uh, negative ones. Negative videos. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know, what I would tell you that whatever people are saying, pretend as if you've not even seen it. Yes. And do your own thing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't, I'm, for me personally, I don't like negativities. All I do is like, I always fill my mind with positive me stuff. Me too. So fill yourself with positivity mm -hmm. and keep moving because he is not a target. The target is to bring the diaspora back home. Yeah. Exactly. And that is what you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. exactly. Listen, moving to Africa is now a movement and I don't want you to stop. Mm -hmm. I want you to keep doing what you do. And I will always be afar. You know, I can always come on board to support, but I'm always supporting yeah. from afar. Mm -hmm. I will see whatever you're doing. So I am very, very grateful with Black yeah, Seed, you know, especially what they have done to Bosura, because water is everything in humanity. So they is grateful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Family. Black Seed family. I'm just drinking. The no, one thing I forgot to mention, we've done some successful projects here. Mm. Yes. We've done that borehole in Bosura that was successful. We help with um, a temporary road in um, near Makunku. And also we give them petrol pumps. So when they have the heavy flooding, you know, you could get the water, water. channel away from the homes. So we've done a lot of projects here. We give out food, we do so much different When the things. wind damage, uh, when, damaged, the wind the, storm. yeah, the wind storm came, uh, we gave out over, over 1,200 1, um, packets of corrugate yeah. sheets to mm -hmm. help people restore their homes. So, and we want to do more. And solar lights as well. And we help to, uh, uh, with a mosque that was broken down. So mm. we do a lot of community projects and that's really been very good. And mm. um, we got the Black Books project because I realized that there wasn't enough Black Books in schools. So a lot of people donate their Black Books to us for the children have finished using, mm. some are new as well. Mm. And we go out and we give that to schools just to balance uh, the yeah. narrative that they're seeing, the, the, the influence. So they can also read about themselves, read about their heroes. At the end of the day, you know, we have our own kings and queens yes, that we yeah. can look up yes, to yeah. and we have to. And there are still kings and queens yes, who yeah. are still occupying their thrones today. Yes, so if you need to look for royalty, there is still African royalty in Africa. And so, you know, we need to realise how valuable Africa is. Africa is the breadbasket of the world. We are the ones that are giving the cobalt to the world. That's where all the phones are coming from. All of the resources of Africa, everything in Africa is what is powering the West. So once we take control of our resources, we take back our power. And that's what we need to do. We need to invest in ourselves. We need to stop the exports and start, you know, growing and making. If we eat what we grow and grow what we eat, we don't have to depend on nobody else. You've lived in Africa for so long. So I guess like if you have one thing to change up Africa, what will it be? Roads. I, I, I would put more investment in roads, road infrastructure, transport, yes. And also we need to change the mindset because a lot of Africans look to the West as the best. So we need to change that so that Africans can come back here and invest back into Africa. Because Africa have everything. Education starts in Africa. All the, su the first um, successful heart operation done mm. in Africa. Mm. So we need to get our African minds back to Africa, Africa. itself mm -hmm. and look into Africa as the future. You know, and um, as I was saying, the work that Black City is doing, it has brought a lot of people back to invest. People come back with their families to live here in Africa. Mm. And that's, that is a great thing because it's sure that mindsets are changing. So most importantly is the mindset. And mm. while the mindset change, everything will change because the infrastructures, the roads and all of that will be developed. You know, yeah. be because she wants to change the mindset, that's why she said England is a dam. Of course. Of course, of course. You know it is. Come on now. I don't know. You know, not... right now, right? They they had a windstorm, a terrible windstorm, right? <laughs> My mom sent me pictures. The trees blown down. Everything is <laughs> everywhere. And the thing is, is that what makes it a dump is the racism. It's the total 
and complete racism. Someone sent me a video today of a, a, a lovely Nigerian man on top saying that he wants to, um, you know, be the new elected mayor of Peckham. And they were doing Vox Pox underneath and she goes, we've got enough of those over here. We don't need any more of those Nigerians here. Let them go back to Nigeria. That is what the white women were saying. And that is the attitude. So we do need to come back home. They're, we've had years of them telling us to go back to our own country, go back to the jungle, go back to Africa. So let's go back to Africa because this is paradise. I want to say thank you so much yeah. for everything. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really, really appreciate you all. Don't stop what you're doing. Go check out the Black City YouTube channel. Subscribe and be part of the family. My name is Stillwater Maya, the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> I am Maya. I am Maya. I wanted to say it so much. <laughs> I am Maya.